అందరికీ నమస్కారములు టుడే ఈజ్ ట్వంటీ ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఏప్రిల్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ త్రీ వీఆర్ ఆన్ సనాతన ధర్మ కోర్స్ ఏ త్రీ మంత్స్ కోర్స్ వీఆర్ ఆన్ ద ఫోర్త్ వీక్ ఆఫ్ ద థర్డ్ మంత్ దట్ ఈస్ ద లాస్ట్ వీక్ ఆఫ్ ద కోర్స్ the third the third month we are on yoga and we have almost completed the syllabus and uh, we have another three days left besides today that is uh, 24th 25th and 26th there will be classes 27th there will be exam both uh, practical and theory in the same way we had uh, conducted for practice then on uh, 28th we are going to have validatory function okay this is the program so today uh, we are going to have class from bridge bhushan ji let us welcome him and uh, we'll start with the reciting mande mataram and prarthana let us request challa chitti babu garu to recite mande mataram challa chitti babu garu mande mataram వందే మాతరం సుజల సుఫల ఫలయీతల సస్యమల మాతరం వందే మాతరం సుబ్రజ్యోష్ణాపులకితయామిని పుల్లకుసుమితృమదళశోభి సుహాసి సుమధురభాషి సుఖదాంబరదాతరం వందే మాతరం ధన్యవాదములండి చల్ల చిట్టిబాబు గారు నౌ లెట్ ఇస్ రిక్వెస్ట్ సత్య గారు టు చాన్ ప్రార్థన ప్లీజ్ నమస్కారం అందరికి Let's do meditation for a minute. ఓ 
गणना गणपति गुंहवामहे कवि कवीनामुपमश्रवस्तम ज्येष्ठराज ब्रह्मण ब्रह्मणस्पद आन शृण्वन्नूति सीत साधन ओ श्री महागणाधिपत नम ओ प्रणोदेवी सरस्वती वाजेर्वाजिनीवती धीनामित्रवतु ओ श्री महासरस्वत नम गुरुरे गति गुरुरे गुरु मेव भजे गुरुन सहस्मी नमो गुरवे न गुरो परम शिशुरस्मि गुरो मतिरस्ति गुरो मम पाहि गुरो ज्ञानदमय देव निर्मल स्फटिकाकृति आधारम सर्व हयग्रीव मुस्मे श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराण आल करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव पादरायण सूत्र भाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्तेहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम असतो मदगम तमसो मोतिर्गम मृत्योर्मा अमृत गमय ओ शाति 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 मातृदेव भव पितृदेव भव आचार्य देव भव अतिथि देव भव ओ सहनावत सह नौभुन सह वीर करवाह तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तु मिद्विषा वह ओ शाति 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 श्रीगुरभ्यो नम हरि ओ धन्यवाद सत्यगार नौ लेट अज रिक्वेस्ट ब्रिजभूषण जी टू स्टार्ट द वेबिनार Namaste and good morning to all. Today, as yesterday, there were many questions. How what we have to practice? So many practices are there. Yes, uh, our course itself has a long list of asanas. One part is asana, as I told in the beginning. asana is one part then sukshma vyayama is another part shat kriyas are is another part pranayama and meditation is another part which includes the mudras and pandas now we have to combine all these processes together anyhow shat karma you can keep it separate which you can do in the morning that is a cleaning process one is be your uh, drinking water and removing that is kunjala kriya or it is also known as uh, uh, jala dhauti or vamana dhauti or bhaja karma there are four names and uh, that can be done daily till you get some practice nicely for few days uh, my advice will be to do daily only the people with suffering with the high blood pressure or heart patients or any acute problems they should consult him next is the jalaneti kriya at least you must do the summer is very nice morning and evening both the times you can perform with warm saline water 
and sutra reti if possible you can learn and you can do these three kriyas minimum has to be done shanka prakshalana i think uh, prabhu sir has given you the all details shanka prakshalana you can perform uh, once in four months five months or six months uh, twice a year or thrice a year as per requirement as per our uh, conditions of the body lagu shanka prakshalana is also another kriya which can be performed if necessary within 15 days 20 days once like that so this is part of sat kriyas coming to the pranayama and uh, this all mudras they are combined mudra bandhas they take actually the pranayama should be practiced for more benefit minimum half an hour reaching up to 1 hour also particularly the anuloma viloma or nadi shuddhi this has to be done for a longer time it will give you a nice effect but it has to be increased as you go on practicing and doing sadhana but minimum the whole pranayama the bandhas mudras combined and followed by little meditation this has to be done at least to 15 minutes so 10 to 15 minutes minimum what i say into our daily day to day routine practice now the question is how much time we have to provide for every day every day 1 hour to 1 hour 15 minutes is a very important and uh, possible time if you can provide in best and that too in the mornings is always better evenings if it is not possible you can perform in the evening also that is the procedure now uh, some of the people sir we are so busy i think it is not a, it is our only mind the mind is the important part the mind has to set right mind only gives the answer that we have to we i have i don't have time i don't have this if we don't have time for ourselves then one day we have to spend time in many other problems like going to hospitals and all that this is to keep ourselves fit so that your body should be ready to go for your highest goal of the life that is moksha so that is our duty dharma what we call it is sanatana dharma what we are saying dharma is that only keep our body into our good condition so that we should not depend on anybody because swastha health what we call in ayurveda swastha swayam me sthita hona getting stable into stabilized into our self when we become perfect health the perfection is nothing but getting into that moksha sthiti where the atma parmatma ekikarana happens we go into our true nature and true nature of a man is perfect divine and infinite we are all perfect but because of this mind we are not feeling that i am not we are all divine we have the divinity divinity divine qualities with us but we are unable to understand those you see divine qualities are nothing but helping others if you are going on the road and somebody wants to cross the road naturally we do that even any person we try to guide somebody that nature is there in us it is inbuilt nature any person will have that divine quality only the thing is we have to awaken those qualities then infinite is we have anantamaina gyanam man andarlo undi as the internet we see in the net and the google or whatever there are lot of information knowledge is there but we don't know how we have to click it properly so clicking it properly into our infinite knowledge that what we have yoga is that tool that's why yoga is a spiritual is a body but it is a creative expression of spiritual because it gives you creative approach because our mind generally first accepts the gross things 
and the asanas are the gross presentation or representation of all system of yoga i say myself asanas are just like ornaments of the whole system of yoga but asanas only is not yoga asanas no doubt as we have ornaments in our house gold ornaments they look nice we wear it but ornaments are not everything life is some much much more than that same way the asanas are considered nowadays people that yoga is that much no that is one part so as i told asanas and sukshma vyayama now these are the two parts which you have to do sukshma vyayama itself it is a total perfect exercise it is derived from asanas pranayama mudras and it has been designed in a very beautiful way by swami kartikeya ji who gave this knowledge to swami dhirendra brahmachari ji from dhirendra brahmachari ji we got, we got to our guru ji suri raghav dikshit ji and like on guru parampara went on and now this sukshma vyayama traditionally it was designed in a nice scientific way it is uh, taught by very few people very few institutions where most of the institutions they just take some parts and they take make the practice okay sometimes we can use some parts and all that but total body exercise total sukshma vyayama takes uh, if you do properly near a nearly 50 minutes to 1 hour separately if you do some of the parts can be added for our just like a warm up now coming to the asanas asanas are many whatever the asanas we require for our body that we can select it after learning it properly on what i do to my students in our regular course we have designed in a such a way that uh, on monday we have a common practice that is surya namaskara and uh, santu prakshalan asana sarpasana series that takes another 10 or 15 minutes of practice daily sometimes that is enough that uh, that i can guide that if you do surya namaskara Two three rounds, and before that, uh, Sarpasana, Urdhvastasana, Satichakrasana, Udarasana, Asana. These four asanas, two or three rounds. So that takes another ten to fifteen minutes of practice. Some day, if you don't have time, at least you do this much. Then, followed by some other asanas. What we do is the asanas on uh, in our sessions. Mondays we will uh, take up the sitting postures. all sitting postures which include twisting front to back bending everything comes with that there are also number of asanas so on monday we take uh, one part of sitting posture and then first day we take this another part that is uh, one big part is the may vajrasana social vajrasana series another is with dandasana legs straight series including padma the other day tuesday you can select the all lying postures supine so lying in that uh, sarvangasana and all these postures will come and the, then repetition comes on the fridays so fridays we take it prone lying postures more including sarvangasana and all that some we can skip and some we can add coming to the wednesday part what we do is we do the whole sukshma vyaya and again on saturday the whole sukshma sunday we can make more for kriyas and then some other asanas or more of pranayama and all last part minimum 10 to 15 minutes must for bandhas and pranayama so this is the schedule you can give just orally i have given one set of asanas today just i'll make it a for all of you these asanas are very important asana but uh, if one has practiced it properly because uh, here we include the sarvangasana halasana and all that these are the postures which are very important which are considered important by swami shivananda uh, long back for international people for foreigners they were what to do so they they considered these few asanas today we will do that whatever possible you do i'll do that set practically now we will start with that and little sukshma vyayam in beginning to make your body free like that we can add if time is left in the last i will try to do another set also if possible if time is not left we'll go to the pranayama part and bandhas part 
and then orally i can guide you if any question answer are there later in the last half okay so now first uh, all of you sit comfortably actually sukshma vyayama is done standing but if anybody feels uh, any trouble or sometimes you can do sitting or on the chair also so keep your spine straight a few uh, set of sukshma vyayama and we we can start from neck exercise griya shakti vikas turn your head right left sir ko daye aur baye kijiye poorti ka left chain right chain turn your head and press one side left side right side left side a little pressure is up down now head down up the second down up down up down up down now for a next side bring your ear to the shoulder right shoulder as left right once you understand all these exercises or asanas keep your eyes closed throughout you can do again other side right and left now circular movement chakrakar chakrakar kriya ko ghumayenge अपने सिर को फ्रॉम राइट साइड अप लेफ्ट साइड डाउन देन डोंट डू डायरेक्टली बेटर टू डू एट द अदर डायरेक्शन समटाइम्स रीलिंग सेंसेशन कम ब्रिंग इट फ्रॉम राइट टू अप लेफ्ट डाउन फ्रॉम लेफ्ट गो अप एंड राइट डाउन वन मोर राउंड सीधी ओर से ऊपर जाएंगे बाएं ओर से नीचे पूरा बड़ा सर्कल कीजिए सर्कल फॉर्म से फील द मोमेंट टोटली ऑन द थ्रोट एंड नेक एरिया रिलैक्स दीज आर द फोर एक्सरसाइजेस बेसिक नाउ स्ट्रेच योर थ्रोट मसल बाय लोअर जॉस एंड स्ट्रेच एंड वेट फास्ट ब्रीदिंग now rub your palms you start your throat and neck now move your shoulders convection to the cast rotate your shoulders round circle chakrakar भुजाल कंधों को गोल घुमाए रिवर्स एंड ऑल दीज मूवमेंट्स दे आर जस्ट लाइक अदर एक्सरसाइजेस बट वी हैव टू मेक इट योगिक एक्सरसाइज द वर्ड योगिक इट मीन्स इज ज्वाइनिंग पुटिंग टूगेदर यू आर ज्वाइनिंग योर माइंड एंड बॉडी टूगेदर अवेयरनेस बोथ द वेज दिस इज फर्स्ट second is the alternate movement like this perform if you want you can do standing also then reverse direction this gives a nice exercise even to your whole of your back nanaka kuda purti ka back movement kuda jarut पीठ और गर्दन के साथ साथ पूरा पीठ कमर तक इसका असर होगा रिलैक्स रेज अप एंड डाउन फुल अप एंड डाउन रिलैक्स हैंड्स एंड शोल्डर्स एल्बो जॉइन सर्कल big circle don't do any shortcut in that breathe in up 
breathe out down as i told short cut you ask the question those who have any doubt in the last what is short cut i'll show later this is a full circle reverse totally bigger circle feel the moment at your shoulders inhale up exhale down wherever you feel that your breathing is not able to be coordinated properly jahan bhi aapko lage saans nahi kar sakte normal ho swasana samanya inga pettandi ekkadaina meeku artham da but what is the principle is always when you stretch up lungs or stretch and expand and all breathe in whenever there is contraction or bending front and all like that breathe out that is a common principle relax now <laughs> stretch your hands front breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out little up breathe in breathe out breathe in stretch up breathe out breathe in breathe out upper way full breathe in up breathe out in out in out now press your palms together behind the head breathing breathe out breathe in with a pressure breathe out with a pressure up breathe in breathe out one one hand pull like this to get a stretch and a freeness into your muscles rest take your hands 90 degrees breathe in 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 10 same you can do with breathing in and out reverse also now hands down 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 9 10 palms open 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 10 rest for now stretch your arms on the sides breathe in long breathing purna bhuja shakti vikas breathe out maximum stretch and total breathing in pura saans bhariye phir puri tarah se saanson ko chhod do stretch your arms finger tip also should get a stretch long breathing in total breathe out rest and just keeping up this all movement smaller mani bandha shakti vikas ka then this one stretching and doing little fast fast you can add if you want time is there then fingers apart stretching then fingers closing and opening ungli shakti vikas ka then breathe out finger tips relax so your hands upper limbs are now free and you can now little chest movement breathe in like this breathe out breathe in breathe out total stretch your arms breathe out number of times can be increased breathe in from the sides stretch back 
breathe out. Expansion of the chest. Maximum inhale. Exhale. Saas lena. Chodana. Swasa pinch pani. Over the leg. Rest. Now raise your arms, shoulders up and breathe in. Little back. Return. With a force with. Breathe out. Breathe in. Saas bharati. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Rest for Now sitting only you can do some twisting. Catch your opposite hand to the knee and twist. Pulling. Total. Relax. Forward bending. Breathe in. Here Vajrasana can be added. Breathe out and showing. Commonly for everybody, those who are unable to do Vajrasana, they can do this. Breathe in up. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Raise your arms and stretch up for extra pressure. Total. Breathe in. Rest for a while. Then keep your hands back. If you are in Vajrasana, you can do Ustra. Breathe in. Little stretch back like this one. Breathe out. These uh, Kriyas I am showing for the old age people, those who don't uh, have a lot of stiff body and all them, they can do at least this much. Breathe in. Stretch full. Breathe out. Breathe in. Fully back also, you have to push this middle portion inside. Breathe out. Now, little bending on the side, like this. Stretch your hand. This we do in Kati, Shakti, Kasa, in standing, all these postures. But I am just cutting short them and then doing. Stretch nicely. Try. Breathe in up. Breathe out. Bend. Relax. Rest for a while. So now your upper body is ready. If still, if you want, sometimes you can add the breathing exercises in Sukshma Vyana, you might have done Kanta Shuddhi. One or two exercises, you can add that to Buddhi, Tata, Dhrati, Shmarana and all that. Otherwise, this much is enough. Now, we need the exercise to the lower limbs. Remove your legs out. Start doing the knee movements. Mokha The knees up and down. Alternate. Both the knees at a time. Father Chalana Kriya. We have done already.
breathing is normal now knees tighten and loose make your knee caps tight loose tight loose tight loose tight loose toes movement toes bend and stretch full bend and stretch try bending and stretching then your feet ankle joints front and back toes pointed back also front also so that your calf muscles till thigh muscles all get a movement jangao pe pindaliyon pe sab pe asar ho pickal ka ni toral ka ni anni da mere effect kaal din dwara rotate rotate nicely the main thing whatever you do whether less or more whole mind has to be involved into these kriyas apne aap ko isme puri tarah se merge kar dena hai man ko puri tarah se mila dena in kriyaon ko perform once you know the process properly close your eyes and do that is better kabhi aap pura one hour आईस क्लोज करके ये सब अभ्यास करके देखे सेल्फ प्रैक्टिस वेन यू डू कीप योर आईज क्लोज थ्रू आउट वन आवर विदाउट ओपनिंग एंड ट्राई टू डू यू फेल समथिंग मोर चेंज इट्स नॉट सो इजी बिकॉज एवरी टाइम आवर आईज वॉन्ट टू ओपन एंड सी समथिंग एक्चुअली नो नी बट दैट इज द हैबिट बोथ द डायरेक्शन नाउ एनी हाउ यू आर सीइंग एंड डूइंग बट सेल्फ प्रैक्टिस ट्राई as much as possible eyes closed now keep some distance and do rotation in another direction opposite bigger circle reverse these are all small small exercises but don't think small means nothing not important very important if you do with your full concentration focus man laga ke jab karenge तो उसका प्रभाव अधिक होगा माना सुबह की चेन नाउ लेफ्ट एंड राइट स्विंग स्विंग योर लेग्स रिलैक्स दी ब्रीदिंग एंड फील इन साइड योर लेग्स द चेंजेस आफ्टर दैट एक्सरसाइज सम चेंजेस विल बी देर सम सेंसेशन सम मोमेंट it may be painful it may be relaxed it may be some moment something try koshish kijiye dhyan lagaiye apne man ko pairon ke andar now join your hands and rotate big circle reverse a very big circle try try to do the full big circle rest for a while resting is deep breathing long deep breaths lambi gahri shwas this already i told make a habit of deep breathing always dirgha shwas mo is kon wadala now now ka chalan rivers every asana 
try to attempt to pull in. Pull moment. Rest. Deep breathing. Then stretching. Rest and Paschimottana. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And relax. Take rest. The counter for this is the Purvottana. Raise it up. Breathe out. Breathe in. Out. In and out. Now keep a distance, hands to the sides, twisting, pull, maximum twist, return, twist, other side, return, pulling. Then center, then other side, center, relax for a while. Then join your legs, butterfly. Fully moment to your knees. Then joining, pressing, joining, pressing, joining, and pressing down. Now in this posture, you can bend forward Baddha Konasana. Breathe in up. Breathe out. One more time. Breathe. Now in this position, you can do the Ashwini Mudra. Contraction releasing anal muscles, then Mulabandha and all, or go to Vajrasana and do, or this way. Any method. This is one set. I gave you a set. Hardly, I think it took around 20 minutes. So, this is around 20 minutes of practice. And another 10 minutes you can add for uh, Bandhas, Mudras, and Pranayam. Like that, minimum. This is one set. Now you can and give the Shavasana whenever you do all these last one in between and then go to Pranay. So rest either sitting or in Shavasana. This is one set of practice. If you have noted, you can note down all. Try to remember, note down them. The serial order which I gave. One here and there, sometimes not a problem. There is nothing a trouble. I'll add the breathing pranayam last. Now one more set I'm giving, as I told, important asanas. 
what the swami shivananda has given to the foreigners particularly because they wanted uh, something special so some selected important asanas what i am showing if you can do the or not the <laughs> so it starts from lying postures from sleeping that is your viparita karani sarvanga halasana like that it goes so this one set you can practice ye ek set kar sakte so what you have to do is lie down directly if you are not able to do this as i gave you one or two varieties of this merudanda asana to make your body ready both the legs one or two varieties i gave six seven eight varieties of my merudanda This will prepare your trunk and waist. Kamar ko ready kar le. Okay, that hardly one minute or two minutes. Now, let us start to the important asana practice. Important asanas practice. Those who are able to do, do along with me, or you can ask them. Now, press your palms on the floor. Do the complementary of 
encounter with this matsya, simple matsya, and in a India or India, churning, hidden, or is in fresh air and sun, and don't know. Every hour, a minimum half a minute, 20 seconds to half a minute, minimum. These documents can be done for one minute. So relax. Shavarasana. Now, hands set up. Breathing to maximum stretch. Tamas or the Asuka are the stretch of feet and asana chair. And get up. First to Bhaktana. Those are not able to do the get up from the side. You can go down the line how much you can find that because I'm not going to go down the line now, but how to make you know. Now going for a whole line posture. Ulta late then more about quality. If you need to do the some preparatory movements, if you don't do, also you can go directly and you go with the bar. One. Two. Three. Little hands back, extra. I gave you all this day before yesterday. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Rest. Many more variations can be added according to time. Makarasan rest. Now this should be followed by Shadarma. And we go And uh, rest. One round I'm showing you can make two rounds at least. Let your breathing, everything comes to normal. Till that you can take rest. Half a minute, one minute, whatever required. Then Nora. Stretch up breathing. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, relax.
level of soil has to be had at all. Yes, now from that prone like posture, one has to get up slowly. From here, drawing the legs up to the ceiling. Then your body is bent, it becomes automatically marked and shashan. And sit straight. But draw. And the last person. In this series will be Artham of Sendrasana. Those who are unable vulnerable to do, they should do Vakrasana. For Artham of Sendrasana, one has to take out your right hip, keep it at the side of your knee, and cross it. Those who are unable to do, they should do this like this straight. Otherwise, this one. Twist and turn back. A very important answer. Like that, fully turn and twist. Remove the hand. Come to the grass. And perform on other side also. Same. Then we will total rest. Or total shavas. Now, stretch your hand on the main body. Go to the second line of this series. Switch and pass. Start any length. Sit straight. Better Vajrasu or Patmasu. Now to the Ashwini Mudra. So this is the important asana set which I gave you today. Now followed by some Bandha Mudras and Pranayama. Breathing exercise. Contract anal muscles in and out, 1 to 50 counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Go up to fifteen, fifty counts.
then mula bandha after 50 counts contract your minor muscles and hold mula bandha if you are a good practitioner you have a good control you can do in padmasana now udara chalana and agni sara standing you have to do till you get practice because here it will be little difficult ब्रीथिंग गुरु जी ब्रीथिंग ब्रीद आउट स्टॉप द ब्रीथिंग होल्ड द ब्रीदिंग आउट एंड डू एंटी स्टमक पुलिंग इन पुशिंग एक्सेल स्टॉप इट ट्राई टू डू फ्रंट एंड बैक एंटी स्टमक मूवमेंट next is udyana bandha there also breathe out stop contract your abdomen squeeze both mula bandha and udyana bandha can be done then automatically chin in the chest jalandhar band also breathe in and then it becomes normal this is all bandha practice tribandha mahabandha then you do all three now go for half bath trika breathe out contract your abdomen around uh, minimum 1 minute 2 minutes at least you should do maximum you can reach to 5 minutes the rhythmic exhalation contract this is followed with full bhastrika or we call it as a generally bhastrika abdomen movements bellowing in and out in expand contract breathe out inhalation exhalation inhalation exhalation full of breath minimum 1 minute then kapal bhati upper pelvic strokes no movement on abdomen
go on doing. The difference between half bhaskrika and kapal bhati sound. This is abdomen moment. Half bhaskrika. Kapal bhati. Now slow breathing. Feel that breath with eyes closed. Now if you want you can change Padmasana uh, from Vajrasana to Padmasana. Abhap asana ko badal sakte. If you feel painful. Or Sukhasana. Or Siddhasana. Anyone. Padmasana is the best for pranayama. Keep your hands in chin mudra. Close your right nostril. Use your right hand. Breathe out left. Breathe in left. Breathe out right. Breathe in right. Breathe out left. Breathe in left. Total, breathe out right. Long, breathe in right. Breathe out left. Total. Now breathing in left, but five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Close. Breathe out ten seconds from right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Breathe in five. One, two, three, four, five. Close and breathe out left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again five. Breathe in. Mind lock. Count change. Man me guilty karo. Long breathing. Breathe out. Total ten seconds. Count in your mind. Keep your spine straight, head in the center. Five in, ten out. Five in, ten out. Alternate. Right in, left out. Left in, right out. Full. Concentrate. Change. Now during this practice, with your mind, little optimum level mola bandha keep like that. That is anal muscles contract and hold. Little optimum level. Maladwar ko thoda andar ki taraf kiche. Maladwar andar lawful kiche. Then up and down. This will go on. Throw. Put your mind and practice. Do this. Your counting is there. Mind has to be engaged in counting, properly closing opening, feeling of the breath in and out, abdomen movements also, mulabandha also, little. Continuously mulabandha is there. 
so that your mind doesn't get a chance to run away in thought process become aware of it come in the left side breathe out now breathe in 5 seconds again same 1 2 3 4 5 by now both the nostrils close stop that is kumbhaka first start with five one two three four five breathe out from the right nostril ten three four five six seven eight nine ten again five in Stop five. One, two, three, four, five. Breathe out left. Ten. Breathe in left. Five. Stop five. Ten. Breathe out. Five in. Five stop. Ten. Breathe out like that. And mula bandha is continuous. Try. there are many more steps at least you go to this step if anybody has a difficulty do only breathe in breathe out breathe in but 5 seconds 10 seconds 5 seconds 10 seconds try concentrate on the breathing feel see lies close concentration continues your mind is with dreaming focus try to feel the breath totally your mind should be with breath now once you come out from that breathing out on the left side you are breathing closes that is circle one cycle is over left side breathe out make normal hands drop down to chin mudra eyes are closed your mind is following the breath at least for four five times whether you can do without finger left in right out right in left out is it possible for you with mind to drive your breathing try or directly both the nostrils let it be but slow in slow out change धीरे धीरे सांस लेना बाएं से दाएं से बाएं से दाएं से बिना उंगली के अगर आप कर सकते हाथ चिन्ह मुद्रा में रख लें मन से कर मेंटली ड्राइविंग मनस्त और ड्राइव चेन विश्वास इफ यू कैन ट्राई फील द ब्रेथ convert that breathing into ujjayi throat sound throat lock gurkallaga partial closure of glottis here also you can 5 seconds breathe in 10 seconds breathe out direct your nose breathing is 
through the nose only in and out but there is a contraction into your throat gale mein thoda aada band karna gunchun gunchun sadam band ke isse to sound hota hai shabdam like a wheezing sound asthmatic patient sound or samudram lo waves of the ocean continue now as you are continuing you add the mentally chanting breathe in so breathe out hum so hum inhale so exhale hum with that sound so hum so hum try to concentrate if your mind still is not able to concentrate going in thoughts or so many disturbances make it little faster as we do in bhastrika so hum so hum so hum breathing every time so hum so hum so hum so hum so hum so hum so if still your mind is wavering you can still make it faster so hum 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 breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out and once you feel comfortable little slow so hum so hum then longer breathing so hum so hum so hum so hum it goes on mentally now make it normal feel the changes into your body mind and breath automatically breath is gone down slow man pura saanson pe sharir mein breathe in full bhramari breathing in also sound
relax and feel. Oh. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Hari Om Tatsap Rub your palms, put it on your eyes, shoot. Dhanyavadana. Like this, Today, I gave you the two sets for your practice. You can combine these and that also, some of them here and there. So, minimum practice and last part was the breathing, bandha and pranayama uh, meditation. So, this is the set you can practice. I hope that you should practice in the regularly. Any sadhana, if it is regular, then only it is beneficial, otherwise not. Any questions or interactions you can have now. Uh, Guruji, can you show Kapola Vikasa rapid uh, shoulder movements like this? Kapola Vikasa. Uh, that is actually uh, done with the uh, Kaki Mudra. You have to inhale, uh, take the air through the mouth, stop it immediately, chin in the chest, that becomes Jalandar Bandha. Hold the breathing and then do the movements. When you feel that I cannot hold further, face the head, breathe out through the nose. There is Skanda Vikas, Skanda Shakti Vikas. In that we add the Kati Mudra. And that actually Kriya is into the Kapola Shakti Vikasa piece like this shape. That is for your cheeks and all that. And for same Karana Shakti Vikasa also. Namaskaram Guruji. Uh, Guruji, uh... When you breathe in, how that sound comes like when you are doing the brahmari, like when, the, when breathe out sound. Brahmari, brahmari here the partial closure of glottis is done. Mm -hmm. With breathing in, this is the sound. Mm -hmm. Breathing out is that sound. Breathing in breathing is called as Dhamganada. You have to contract in your throat as we do in Ujjayi. Mm -hmm. Here there is breathing in, little contraction is done. That sound is generated. Dhamganada. Okay. So the breathing out is, I mean, that sound is coming, but breathing in sound, I'm, is, I mean, I'm... Ah, not breathing in, you need a little practice. You have to practice, contact. okay. Oh, okay. And it has to be prolonged. It is not so Prolong, easy. Okay. It takes a long ah, yeah. time to be practiced. You have to practice it.
any more one more, or one any more, more question doubt? guruji like yeah one more question guruji like where uh, in that anulom vilom i mean is it that um, anal contrast i mean like a, a contract and then the release when the breath is out is released right meaning the no well, what i what i told was a little different so when you are doing continuously mm. that optimum level of mola bandha anal contraction is hold like that okay continuously throughout it is not so easy so start doing it will be released in between but again make it it should be held like that on this and oh, this should go okay. and there should not be any okay, tension okay, okay. it's a okay, little okay. high level practice little okay 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 and then later on when we add the kumbhaka the on bandhas then more contraction is done with breathing okay. in hold all bandhas are applied then breathe down but it should be step by step i didn't go to that way. but this mola uh, bandha throughout the practice you keep like this. oh okay. okay it is not so easy but try yeah yeah right thank you ji in padmasana does mola bandha happen naturally in vitasana in padmasana mola bandha happen naturally it may, it may happen If you are having a regular continuous practice, mola bandha happens. Okay. Yeah, uh, I have a small uh, thing that for Padmasana, is there any uh, what you say? Ah, uh, वो जल्दी से होता नहीं है Padmasana. तो पैर आता नहीं है दोनों. For that, for that so, I have shown uh, day before yesterday this butterfly is one practice. अच्छा. <coughs> and then these practices this one acha ye sare karne se aa jayega all these movements let your legs become free all these <laughs> one by one then this one till you get it then you go for half padmasana first keep some like this only then after some time this leg up to like that slowly slowly whenever we get a time hmm. whenever you are free just sitting like that you are watching tv adapt that you will get to after few days acha acha main sunta kuch neck hai jiske wajah se wo attack jaati hai kuch nahi neck ki ki hai when you get this this has to be slowly you have to bring it up out Haan. but the leg should become free free don't force it aisa nahi hona chahiye ki asana should hurt you and leave your knee troubled and injury no don't go for it. according to your age and stiffness of the body with doing other asanas other movements you make your body free joint free okay thank you thank you ji guru ji you said padmasana left on top and right next for women and uh, like what we learn from our teachers for gents first they have to keep the left leg about and then right should come up and for ladies right above and left to next like that it has been mentioned uh this this are all actually for spiritual practices but normal practice okay normal what we say sometimes you do left first sometimes you do right first so that you are habituated with both the legs mm-hmm. otherwise what happens there is a more pressure stretch on one leg so practice like that dhanyawad sir I think there are no more questions, uh, Babu Garu. Okay. Uh, if there are no more questions, then uh, we will go for prarthana. Last question, Guruji. For Vajrasana, should there be gap between the knees or not? Join, join. Okay. If anybody is having any trouble, any type of problem, then there are many other methods how to adapt. only the people those are suffering with fracture or lot of knee pains don't adapt now there are some other you can keep a pillow a round roller in between and sit on it keep some two pillows on the side too, so that there is no hurting gradually improve that up but knees actually they are to be joined when you are in the class okay 
Okay, Guruji. I think I have cleared uh, yesterday's doubts also. Many of them they had, they were asking about the sets and all that. Please practice, that would be our my advice. Without practice, there is no use of only listening and just seeing or uh, not doing regularly. This Vidya will not help. And the Sanatana Dharma, this uh, becomes a base for you to understand the whole Sanatana Dharma. Because yoga is a part of it. It is a part of our life. And that is why this has been kept for one month. And if this is made regular practice, we will try to understand by our own self what are these our main core values because it is related to the nature. That's all. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you, Guruji. Thank you, Rijibhushan Purohit Garu. Thank you very much for the um, advice and also the guidance for the future. Uh, we'll definitely follow what you say. And uh, let me thank you on behalf of all the students of uh, Sanatan Dharma course for being with us for a week and then giving a very marathon and exhaustive uh, list of uh, demonstrations. Thank you very much. And we look forward to meeting you again in the advanced course, in level two course, which is going to start, start in July. Thank you very much. Now let us request uh, Satyaji to do Prantana. Swasti Prajapya Paripala Yantam Nyaya Namargena Mahi Mahishaha Go Brahmane Pyasu Nityam Loka Samasta Sukhino Pavantu Kale Vashatu Pajanyaha Prithivi Sasya Shalini Desho Yam Shoparahito Brahmana Santune Bhayaha Aputra Putrina Santu Putrina Santu Pautrinaha Adhana Sadhana Santu Jeevan to Sharadam Shatam Satyam Vada Dharmam Chara Swadhyayan ma pramadaha Sarve bhavan to sukhinaha Sarve santu niramayaha Sarve bhadrani paschantu Magas chit dukkabag bhavet Om shanti 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 he Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vasishate Om Shanti 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 Sarvejana Sukhino Pavantu Loka Samasta Sukhino Pavantu Swasti. Thank you, Satyagar. Now, now let us uh, recite. National Anthem. Tell us it goes better. Jana Jana Mana Adhina Yaka Jaya He Bharata Bhajya Vidhata Punjabu Sindhu Gujarat Maratha Dravida Utkala Banga Vindhya Himachala Yamuna Ganga Uchala jala dhita ranga, tava shubha name jage, tava shubha ashish mange, gahe tava jaya gatha, jana gana mangala daya ka jaya he bharata bhagya vidata, jaya he, jaya he, Jaya He, Jaya 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 He, Jaya He, Jaya He. Dhaniyavadam Nandi. Dhaniyavadam Nandi. Dhaniyavadam Nandi. Dhaniyavadam Nandi.